This is an RV heater. Uh, it's propane powered. I wasn't gonna get one. We were gonna do a wood burning stove, which we still anticipate doing, but it was only like 60 bucks on Facebook Marketplace and it works and it's propane. So I figured why not? Another reason why I got it is because I anticipated keeping the factory heaters in the bus, but I went to start the bus the other day and it was pretty chilly out and they didn't work. I thought they did. They worked when it was like 98 degrees when I was driving it back from New Jersey, but they don't work anymore. Today's task is gonna be taking out this front heater, which I don't know, I know nothing about. And then the, and then removing this heater, which is the driver heater. And I kind of wish I would have done this before because when I took out the rear heater, I had to loop everything and do a bunch of work and now I've got to kind of redo it. I hope, I'm probably, it's probably not gonna be the case, but I hope this is the only thing that I have to redo twice, once, redo once. I think it's gonna be pretty straightforward. I would assume it's the same kind of, you've got a feed line, then you've got a return line. So for the driver heater, and then for this heater, I got the face plate off already. I need to pull this face plate off. I might need to take off the doghouse because there's a butterfly valve in there that I need to close off. This thing is gross. There's like wasp nest and ladybugs and yeah. Alrighty, let's get it out. No way I would have ever reached that. This job is dirty. Definitely one of the more dirty ones I've done in a while. So I never really did like a good job explaining how the heater works as far as like all the extra hoses and you've got your main heater, which is up in the wheel well for us. And you've got your driver heater, then you've got a pump and then you've got your rear heater and then that flows back up to the bottom of the engine. So basically, let me use my bus here. You've got your engine. And then the hose comes from the top of the engine from the radiator. It's pushed to the front heater and then flows from the front heater all the way through to the driver heater and then gets pumped from there, P for pump, all the way back to the rear heater and then back through down under to the bottom of the engine. So if you're wanting to get rid of the front heater, the driver heater, and if you're gonna get rid of the rear heater, you don't need the pump anymore, so you can get rid of that, and then get rid of the rear heater, all you really need to do is connect this part of the hose, the bottom, to the top, so that it has a, like a continuous cycle. Because um, in essence, then it would be going from here to here, and then fl flowing back through. So this part of the hose will get connected back through to the bottom, and there's actually, there should be like two valves right here and there to cut it off. I'm pretty sure that you can just leave them disconnected or you can leave them shut off and you don't even need to reconnect them, but I don't think that's completely right. So I just looped them back through, turn them off. That way it kind of gives like a cycle for the radiator fluid to kind of flow through. So yeah, that's how I did it. If you guys have any questions, uh, should be a message. Yeah, so that's how I did it. If you guys have any questions, shoot me a message, leave me a comment. If you guys know that you can just leave these disconnected and not even connect your radiator hose, then leave a comment below and I'll kind of address that in the future. But yeah, 
So far, nothing overheated, everything's kind of good to go. The downside is there are no more heaters. The plus side is I removed like 50 feet with a radiator hose and about, I don't know, between all the heaters, probably like an extra 50 pounds of stuff that I just wasn't gonna use anyways. And it freed up a lot of space in the wheel well. I don't have the, the rear heater back there anymore to, to kind of work with. And I don't have that little awkward driver heater there anymore. Appreciate you guys following along. Like it if you like it, dislike it if you don't like it. And if you could subscribe, I'd really, really appreciate it. And uh, we'll keep doing this thing. Appreciate it, guys.